Hey boys and girls, this book is called Raccoons and it is by L. Patricia Kite. Raccoons by L. Patricia Kite. Photographs by Jerry Boucher. This is the table of contents. It's an important feature of a nonfiction text because it lists the chapters that are in the book and what pages you can find that information on. So chapter one is The Clever Raccoon, page six. Chapter two, Raccoon Homes, page 14. So if you just wanna learn about homes, you can look at the table of contents and turn to page 14. This is a very important feature of a nonfiction text is the table of contents. So this is a little map and it looks like it's blocking out uh, Mexico, United States, and Canada. And it says raccoons live in most of the United States, the southern part of Canada, and Central America. The striped area shows where raccoons live. So they live in Mexico, they live in the United States, and the bottom part of Canada. Be a word detective. Can you find these words as you read about the raccoon's life? Be a detective and try to figure out what they mean. You can turn to the glossary on page 46 for help. Dens, four feet, guard hairs, home range, kits, nocturnal, omnivores, predators, and underfur. Chapter one. Here's a picture with a little caption next to it. The common raccoon has several names. It can be called the Northern raccoon or it can be called the North American raccoon. Where do common raccoons live? The clever raccoon. Raccoons are very curious. They like to explore new places. They like to touch new things and they are very clever. There are two main species or kinds of raccoons. One species is called the crab-eating raccoon. It lives in Central America and South America. The other species is called the common raccoon. It lives in the southern part of Canada and most of the United States and Central America. This book is about the common raccoon. And here's a picture right here and there's a caption underneath that says, common raccoons may live in places that have cold temperatures. So an important feature of a nonfiction text is usually pictures with captions underneath that tell you about the pictures. Raccoons are closely related to ringtails, codis, and kinkajous. Some scientists think raccoons are also related to red pandas. Ringtails and raccoons look much alike. And here's a picture right here, and it says the common raccoon scientific name is Prochion loader. An adult raccoon usually weighs 12 to 30 pounds. This is about as heavy as a large watermelon. Raccoons are two to three feet long from their nose to the end of their tail. This is about as long as a baseball bat. Male raccoons are usually bigger than female raccoons. The tips of a raccoon's guard hairs are white or black. Most of a raccoon's fur is brown, gray, black, or yellowish. Raccoons have two types of fur. Most of their fur is under fur. Under fur is short, thick, and warm. Raccoons also have longer hairs called guard hairs. Raccoons have long, bushy tails. A raccoon's tail has five to seven black stripes. A raccoon has a black and white face. It has bright black eyes, black fur around its eyes, and a pointed black nose. It has a line of white fur across its forehead and white fur around its nose. A raccoon has small round ears. Its teeth are very long and sharp. Raccoons can make many different sounds. They growl, whimper, and hiss. A raccoon has five long, thin toes on each foot. Each toe has a sharp claw. The bottom of a raccoon's foot has no fur. 
Most animals walk on their toes, but raccoons walk on the soles of their feet. These tracks were made by a raccoon. Raccoons walk slowly, but they can run fast. Each of a raccoon's finger has a sharp claw. A raccoon's front feet are called forefeet. Raccoons use their forefeet much like people use their hands. Raccoons can pick up very small objects with their fingers and they can open things such as jars and doors. Raccoons are very curious. They touch everything with their fingers. Chapter two. Raccoons are good swimmers, but they cannot swim fast. Where do raccoons usually make their homes? Raccoon homes. Most raccoons live near a pond, lake, or stream. But raccoons can live almost anywhere. They can live in swamps or along beaches. They can even live in or near cities. The only places they do not live are on high mountains or in deserts. Raccoons usually live in places where there are trees. Raccoons are very good climbers. They can climb big trees. Raccoons can climb down a tree head first or tail first. Few other animals can climb down a tree head first. Raccoons live in trees or on the ground. Each raccoon has its own home range. A home range is an area of land where an animal lives. A raccoon usually stays in its home range all of its life. Raccoons usually live alone, but a mother raccoon lives with her babies until they are old enough to leave home. Some raccoons live near cities. These raccoons usually have small home ranges. Some raccoons have very large home ranges. They can be as large as 13,000 acres. This is about as big as a medium-sized town. Raccoons who live near cities usually have small home ranges. Their home ranges are as small as 12 acres. This is about the size of 12 football fields. This raccoon lives in a den that is high in a tree. Oh, there he is. Raccoon homes are called dens. A den is usually a hole in a tree or a log. It may be a hole in the ground where the other animals once lived. A den can also be a small cave or a big bird nest. A raccoon may even have its den in a place like a barn or an attic. A raccoon usually stays in one den for a while. Then it moves to a den in another part of its home range. Some raccoons live in places that have cold winters. These raccoons sleep in their dens during much of the winter. On sunny days, they may wander out to look for food. Other raccoons live in places that are warm all year. These raccoons do not spend as much time in their dens during the winter. On sunny winter days, a raccoon may wander outside its den. Chapter 3. Raccoons often hunt for food in or near water. When do raccoons usually look for food? They'll eat almost anything. Raccoons have many ways of finding food. They have good eyesight, great hearing, and a good sense of smell. Raccoons also have a good sense of touch. They can find food just by feeling for it. Raccoons are nocturnal. Nocturnal animals look for food at night. Raccoons often hunt for food in or near water. Raccoons are omnivores. Omnivores are animals who eat both plants and animals. A raccoon spends most of the day in its den. It leaves its den at night. Raccoons hold their food with their forefeet. Looks like he's holding something right there that he's eating. Raccoons eat almost any kind of food. They eat corn, nuts, and fruit. They hunt for crayfish, mice, small birds, and bird eggs. 
They also hunt for crabs, clams, snakes, squirrels, fish, turtles, frogs, and insects. Raccoons who live near people look for food in garbage cans and in gardens. Raccoons even eat dog food or cat food from pet bowls. This raccoon is looking for food in a cooler. Raccoons often dunk their food in water before they eat. People used to think raccoons washed their food, but this is not true. Some scientists think raccoons wet their food to make it easier to swallow. Crab-eating raccoons aren't the only raccoons who eat crabs. Common raccoons eat crabs too. Raccoons may find a lot of food in trash bins. And this is a picture of a raccoon looking in a trash bin at night. Raccoons eat a lot during the spring and summer, but in the fall, they eat even more. They eat so much that they become fat. By late fall, raccoons have a lot of food stored in their bodies as fat. They look like round balls of fur. And during cold winters, food can be hard to find, but raccoons can live off their body fat. They can live through a cold winter without eating. Chapter four, a mother raccoon takes care of her babies by herself. How many babies does a mother raccoon give birth to at a time? From babies to adults. A female raccoon is ready to have babies in late spring. She looks for a den that is safe and quiet. Usually she finds a hole high in a tree. And sometimes the female gathers some wood scraps to make a bed for her babies. A raccoon gives birth to about three or four babies at a time. Baby raccoons are called kits. Kits are about four inches long. This is about as long as a new crayon. Newborn kits weigh about two ounces. This is about as heavy as a plum. Some raccoons give birth to just one baby at a time, but others give birth to as many as eight babies at a time. Kits are covered with soft fur. Their fur is light gray. Some kits have no black fur around their eyes and they have no stripes on their tail. Their eyes and ears are closed. Kits have light gray fur. Mother raccoons and their kits sometimes make purring noises. Oh, like cats. Kits drink their mother's milk. They sleep a lot. They curl up together to keep warm, and when they are awake, they make noises. Sometimes kits sound like purring cats. Sometimes they sound like twittering birds. When the kits are about three weeks old, their eyes open. Their fur is longer. They have black fur around their eyes. The kits climb around the den. They tumble and play together, and they growl as they play. Young raccoons are very active inside the den. When they are eight weeks old, kits begin to peek out of the den. Sometimes a kit tries to climb out, but the mother picks up her kit by the back of its neck. She carries it back inside. She is careful to watch her kits all the time. She leaves the den only to search for food. A raccoon kit peeks out of its den. But the mother cannot keep her kits inside for long. Raccoon kits are very curious. Soon they begin to crawl all over the tree that their den is in. And sometimes they fall asleep on the upper branches. Raccoon kits explore on branches near the den. A mother raccoon shows her kits how to find food. So here's the mother and the kits and they're looking for food. When the kits are 10 weeks old, their mother takes them on trips to find food. The mother teaches her kits how to find food. The mother shows her kits how to fish. She wades into shallow water. She feels around for fish. At first, the kits watch her. Then they feel around in the water for fish too. A mother may push her baby up a tree to hide it from an enemy. A mother raccoon also teaches her kits how to find insects. She shows them how to pull off a tree's outer bark Many insects live under the bark. She shows them how to turn over logs and rocks to find insects too. The mother shows her kits how to hide from enemies. They watch and follow her 
and she also shows them how to climb trees. When the kids are six months old, they can take care of themselves. Some leave to find their own home ranges. Other kids stay with their mother until spring. Raccoons usually live about five years. Some raccoons live in zoos. These raccoons can live to be about 15 years. Some kids leave home by early winter. They look for their own home range. That's cute. Chapter five, mountain lions eat adult raccoons. What are animals who kill and eat other animals called? Danger to raccoons. Adult raccoons have few animal enemies. Predators are animals who kill and eat other animals. Mountain lions are predators who hunt adult raccoons. Adult raccoons are good at finding places to hide from enemies. But if they can't hide, they can look and sound very angry. They hiss and growl. They show the enemy their sharp teeth and they fight if they have to. A very angry raccoon can rip and slash with its claws and teeth. Kids and very old raccoons have more enemies than other raccoons. Coyotes, wolves, and foxes hunt kits and old raccoons. Foxes hunt kits and old raccoons. Large owls and dogs are other predators who hunt these raccoons. Kits are very curious. A kit may walk up to another animal just to see what it is. Mother raccoons have to watch their kits carefully. A mother raccoon defends her kits. If an enemy is nearby, kits hide behind their mother. The mother raccoon lowers her head. She hunches her back. She shows her strong teeth and screams loudly. Usually the enemy leaves. If it doesn't, the mother raccoon fights with it. She makes it go away. Sometimes humans hurt or kill raccoons. Many raccoons are killed by cars. People hunt raccoons for their meat and people use raccoon fur for clothing. Some people hunt raccoons as a sport. People sometimes take care of raccoons who have lost their mothers. Raccoons look for food in garbage cans. People have built houses and other buildings in raccoon home ranges. So more and more raccoons live near people. Many people think raccoons are pests. Raccoons knock over garbage cans. They scatter garbage all around. They open jars. A raccoon may even sneak into a house to look for food. Some raccoons live near farms. They take food from farmers' fields. They may also take chickens from the farm. Raccoons who live near farms look for food in fields. A raccoon nests, a raccoon rests in its den. I can't even see it. Oh, there it is right there. Raccoons are very curious and clever. They are clever enough to find homes and food almost anywhere. Maybe you have a raccoon, raccoon living near you. And this is some information uh, about how to use this book. This is a glossary. A glossary is a very important part of a nonfiction text. It's a very important because it gives you uh, words that are in the book and it gives you definitions to the words. Dens are raccoons home. Four feet, a raccoon's front feet. Guard hairs, the longer hairs on a raccoon's body. Home range, the area where a raccoon lives. Kits are baby raccoons. Nocturnal, hunting for food at night and resting during the day. Omnivores, animals who eat both plants and animals. Predators, animals who hunt and eat other animals. Underfur, the shorter fur on a raccoon's body. Most of a raccoon's fur is under fur. This is an important feature of a nonfiction text because it gives you definitions to words that are in the text that you might not know what they mean. The index is also very important because it tells you where certain words can be found in the book. Baby raccoons is on page 16, 26, 35, 38, and 39. Um, climbing is on page 15 and 13. Eating is on page 21 to 25, 29. So, if you couldn't get the information that you needed on where to look in the book from the table of contents, you could jump back to the index and say, 
I just want to know about their feet. So you look here, you find the word feet, and you're going to know that's going to be on page 12 and 13. So you can learn about that structure of the animal. I hope you've enjoyed reading the book Raccoons.